That's a bold thing for us to sing on 9-11 of all days. I oftentimes get scared of singing that song because I don't know who's going to be in the audience. I don't know what kind of hell they've gone through. And I don't want to demean that or, or say something pretty that's not true, you know. But I keep meeting people. I believe that to be true, that nothing is wasted. Um, and I keep meeting people who have gone through hell and who prove it to be true, you know. And I've experienced it to be true in my own life. And uh, this is one of the things I'm, 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 I'm the most grateful for about the way the kingdom of God works is that we have a place to bring all the hell that we've gone through, including the hell that we've put others through, <laughs> you know, to bring all that brokenness before the Lord and he takes all that ugly mess. And somehow it seems to me like if we keep bringing it to him, he's able to make it into something beautiful called our ministry, you know. Uh, I heard a great quote about a week ago that wisdom is healed pain. Yeah, right. Um, I was talking with my mentor. His name is George, and he's the he's the wisest man that I know. It's kind of ridiculous. He's, it's his stuff. He, he blows my. He's like my Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> but he's bigger than me, and um, and uh, I was hanging out with him, and I said, George, every time you open your mouth, it's so poof, blows my mind. I said, I want to be you when I grow up. How, do, how did you become you? And he answered with one word. He said, pain. And uh, I bet you all know exactly what that means. And um, what I think is beautiful about that is it reminds me that we are given a place to bring our wounds, right? We're given a place to bring our wounds so that they don't harden into scars but instead they can become a source of healing for those around us. And I believe that this is how God heals us. He heals us by making us healers. No matter what you've gone through, if you've gone through divorce or addiction, depression, loss, failure, whatever it might be, you know, other people, like if, if, if you keep bringing that before the Lord, it becomes the thing that people come to you for, right? I mean, like, like when they're going through the same thing, they'll only come and talk with you because they, they hope that you, because you've been through it and survived it, that you won't throw easy answers at them and they hope that you won't judge them and you are an embodiment of the hope that they're desperate for, that there is life on the other side of whatever hell they're going through. And that's so beautiful to me that these things become our ministry. They become the ways that we are able to, you know, that they, you know, that God's healing leaks through our, our brokenness and spills out on the people around us. Wow, I just love that. And all of that reminds me that loss and pain and divorce, addiction, depression, failure, all that stuff, it, it doesn't get to have the last word over our lives. That does not have the last word over our lives. What happened on September 11th is not the last word. But if we keep bringing our, our pain and all the tragedy in the world, if we keep bringing you know, all, all those things, if we keep bringing it before the Lord, then, then he's, he transforms it. And it reminds me that, that, that his love will have the final word, you know? And uh, that's my hope anyway. <laughs> so here's a song about it.
That sounds kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when the voice of fear rages in my head Beating down the long list of my regrets When the ruins are all I see Remind me that it only means that love Isn't finished speaking yet Of all the things I've ever heard Let me remember when it hurts That love will have the final word As long as God is on his throne I that broke inside you will not mend and you wander in the dark without a friend when the night goes on and on remember when it all goes wrong and this is how we know it's not the end of all the things I've ever heard let me Stay. 